See, we started Isaac before new. There's always the chance we just die. And if we just die, then we just switch to Horizon Zero Dawn and we eat our sandwich when it gets here. But if we don't die, then we've accomplished something else. Plus, I feel like the, uh, you know, if we, if we needed to pull a YouTube run for today, then the last one with the soy milk monstro's lung is pretty good. Glitch uh, worked really hard to break me of my uh, to break me of my biases, Shauna, and convince me to get a Reuben to go way outside my comfort zone and get one of my absolute favorite sandwiches on the planet. I feel very brave right now. <laughs> Glitch, how how did you manage this? Uh, I mean, sure, I suppose. Petition to change Jacob and Esau's title to the Bullshit Brothers. I have to remind myself how these guys function. That last run was kind of uh, free and breezy. Free and Lee breezy. It brings me great joy to know that, what, three years later? Brizzy is still having people show up in his Twitch channel who found our Subnautica time capsule, which had a puffer fish, not a puffer fish. What kind of, what kind of, uh, cuttlefish? It had a cuttlefish. I think a, 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 a heated serrated knife that cooked fish as it cut them and something else. And, um, came with a message to sub subscribe to Labrizzi with your Twitch Prime sub. And then listed his Twitch address. And he's still getting people who are visiting him three years later because of that. We're gonna end up, uh, Cletus and I are gonna end up having to port over the, ooh. Cletus and I are gonna end up having to port over the Subnautica run at some point. I'm also gonna have to fix this donut machine at some point as well, but that's a that's a problem for another day, I think. <laughs> Literally the best time capsule ever. It was I like I I was surprised that they let that through because apparently they vet those, so I was surprised that they let that through. Um, but at the same time, it was it was done in good humor, you know. fun. I, you know what's funny, the Ferret King, is I, I know my way around the Subnautica map to do very specific things, but I didn't know my way, I don't know my way around the Subnautica map. Uh, like certain parts, certain parts of the Subnautica map, I'm, I'm still useless. Still absolutely ah. useless. What's funny is that the cave systems I was fine. The cave systems the cave systems I was fine. It was uh very definite oh man, this is I think this is it. That is not the secret room for what it's worth. Yeah, for the cave systems I was fine. It was the sort of the out, outer edge areas that I was bad with. I didn't like I didn't like being fully exposed to like the Reaper Leviathans and whatnot. I didn't like being exposed to the Reaper Leviathans out on the outer edge. Blank rune. I actually think I'm going to kind of split the difference here. So yeah, at the time that I stopped playing, the under the underground cave systems I felt like I had sorted. Um... 
but ironically, the the outer edges of the map in the open water, I did not. I think we have Subnautica below zero. Um, as a as a as a funded game on this channel, I think I'm gonna end up playing that before year's end. It's gonna be closer than I wanted it to be. VR? Hell no. You guys didn't pay that much money. No, no, no. Can't remember which button uses Esau's consumable. I still contend that the real problem I, I didn't I didn't get to finish the story earlier, but most of you know it. I still contend that the biggest problem I had with the bioreactor guy. The biggest problem I had with the bioreactor guy was not that he was incorrect. He was absolutely correct. But he basically openly admitted that the only reason he was bossing me around was so that he would look cool in a partnered streamer's chat, knowing more about the game than me. And then when I got kind of pissy about it and said, oh, are you here, you know, pimping your Fortnite YouTube channel? Because at the time, Fortnite was the big game. But like, I tongue in cheek said, <clears throat> I tongue in cheek said, are you here pimping your Fortnite channel? To which he responded, well, if you're asking. And then he pimped his fucking Fortnite channel. And he had like videos that he'd recorded with the native console recording software that he had uploaded to YouTube via whatever whatever inherent recording software lives in like an Xbox 360 or whatever. And he, he all all but validated the complaint that I had, which was, wait, you're just here trying to garner attention. You're just here trying to garner attention for your, uh, for your own endeavors, huh? And he's like, yup. I genuinely can't remember which button lays bombs down. There we go. Lowly henchman. Who guru greetings as well. Yeah, he was absolutely right. The uh the uh He was absolutely right. The um bioreactor was the way to go. I just didn't like how he fed me that information. Just got an electric fly swatter and found it so satisfying. We had an electric fly swatter in the cabin in the mountain in the woods that we stayed stayed in. Man, there goes our deal with the devil chances. It's unfortunate because, uh, you know, our items have been kind of garbage so far. The only time I think the, uh, the electric fly swatter got used at our cabin in the woods that we were renting was when Rory walked outside and reminded us that we had told him not to touch the electric fly swatter and that he wanted us to know that he absolutely hadn't because he was sure, especially now, he wouldn't he wouldn't really tell us what that meant. But he was absolutely sure, especially now, that it would hurt real bad. No, Humble Bundle's good. I'm not saying we got, like, terrible items. I'm just saying... Degas. Whoops. Yeah, he came out and very suspiciously let us know that he was totally co cognizant of the fact that he was not supposed to and was not going to touch the electric fly swatter because he... 
for reasons we weren't fully made uh, aware of, he was absolutely certain that it would hurt very bad if he did that. And then he promised not to do it because, not because he learned from experience, because that would mean that he had broken mom and dad's rules, but because he had just remembered that they had said that and felt real inclined to come out and talk to us about it while we were sitting on the porch. He, he felt an overwhelming sense of civic duty to reiterate that he had heard us loud and clear and that he certainly would not do anything so foolish that would contradict what we'd asked him already not to do. Some days you gotta learn fire hot. Yeah, he, he fucked around and found out, I guess. I'm just glad he wasn't hurt so bad that he actually, like, actually hurt himself. We still may get a deal with the devil. I think I'm gonna set Jacob up with Blue Candle. I guess if Esau wants magic fingers, he can take it, but we're, we're just gonna lead out with Jacob most of the rest of the way here. Yeah, sure. Who learned fire's hot? I mean, once upon a time, my mom felt like she didn't need to tell me not to stick my hand into a the glowing hot coals of a fire. And I remember being about Rory's age when I stuck my hands into the glowing hot coals of a fire. Damn, I should have given that to Esau, man. It would have uh, put it towards the mother transformation. <sighs> Do I check the deal with the devil? I think I checked the deal with the devil. Because I need items. Oh, God. Damn it, all the hell. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave here with black hearts, which is not nothing. Maybe we get a deal with the angel on the next floor. Yeah, I literally reached into a fire to pick up a glowing hot coal because I thought it looked pretty. And my mom saw me recoil and hold my hand like this. And my mom looked at me, this is probably 1988. My mom looked at me and goes, did you just try to pick up a hot coal from an outdoor fire pit? Go inside, get some ice. Does it hurt? I remember, if nothing else, I felt very embarrassed. Yeah, like, I can't even get mad at Rory. He's clearly, like, we're saving money on the paternity test, that's for sure. We knew he looked like Amber's family. But now we're, we're certain he's related to me because he does dipshit things like that. I had to remind them that, like, I tell them not to do stuff, not because I don't want them to have fun, but because, like, I'm like, hey, fire safety? And they're like, yeah, we know. And I'm like, no, you need to hear this. Your father once threw, like, a crystalline rock, like a, like a big piece of quartz, into a fire in North Texas. And I didn't tell Papa, and I didn't tell our cousins that were hanging out. And then the rock blew up and exploded and spit, sent glowing hot shrapnel everywhere. And your dad, to this day, has never told Papa why the fire mysteriously blew up. But Dad knows it was because his dumbass threw a piece of quartz into the fire. And I'm just trying to convince you not to do that kind of stuff. Did your mom give you the uh, parental exasperated sigh, the one where you know she's saying in her head, my kid's a fucking moron? Yep, 100%. I, I wish that my parents hadn't had to say that in their heads, sometimes out loud, but I wish my parents had to, hadn't had to say that in their heads as often as they did. Taffy, do I need to teach your boys about danger? Well, I mean, like, maybe, I don't know. 
Hey, which one of you boys wants money equals power? Uh, whose rate of fire is higher? You're a winner. Um. I feel like Rory's kind of been on the straighter and narrower ever since the down power line thing. What sucks is that like I showed them all the like I showed them all the stuff. Glitch and I went and found a whole bunch. Glitch and I went and found a whole bunch of like uh, video footages of like people being not people but like scientists showing the dangers of electrocution. I didn't go to like the dark web and literally find like faces of death electrocution edition. But we, you know, we went and we found. Um, I know I'm not supposed to be spending cash each here, but still, that's a that's a good pickup. Yeah, we, we went and found, uh, especially, a bunch of scientists saying, like, here's what happens if you touch uh, a box filled with high-voltage cables. And they just basically were, like, exploding dummies. And I just I feel like that didn't even make a dent. Like, I feel like the boys just kind of passed that right by. This is Uncle Glitch. He's an expert in danger. In fairness, I've seen a grown man reach inside a still-running furnace made for melting aluminum to grab a copper rod that wasn't melting. Really? Ugh. Dude, my dad gave me a Boy Scout knife when I was a kid. I opened it at Christmas time. I opened the present. I saw it. My dad goes, all right. You're eight years old, this is a Boy Scout knife, but I have to tell you, son, it is very, and as the words, very sharp, were escaping his lips. He went, it is very sharp. And before he finished the word sharp, I dragged the blade across my thumb and opened my thumb wide open. I gave myself a gash that I still, you know, I still have a, a faint scar. And I instantly recoiled and pulled my thumb into my chest and my dad goes, did you just cut yourself? As I was saying, be careful with your Boy Scout knife. It's sharp. Give it back. And he took the knife and he closed it and he put it back in the box and he wrapped it back up and he pressed the tape all back together. And he goes, we'll try again next year. Go get a Band-Aid. <laughs> and so I went and got the Band-Aid, and then the next year at Christmas, my dad handed me the exact same box with the same tears and the same scotch tape on it, and goes, Are you ready to try again, son? And I was just like... And I didn't cut myself that time. Did you just cut yourself on the knife that I said to be careful with because it was sharp? We'll try it again next year. So I had to wait until I was nine to get my Boy Scout knife because I just couldn't resist fucking it up on day one. <laughs> Are you ready now, son? I feel like your father and my father are the same person, essentially. And my dad really did let out the exasperated sigh. The, oh, son, why are you such a dipshit sigh? And I was like, I don't know, dad. Nobody's more confused than I am, dad. I don't want to be a dipshit. Did I inherit it from you? And he's like, hey, don't you put that sin on me, Ricky Bobby. I'm working and lurking and loving everything good as uh, someone clip. Uh, for the love of everything good, someone please clip that story, says Aston Trip. I hope you're having a great lurk today, man. Ugh. I, my parents and the shit they had to put up with. I did not always make it easy on them. Oh, blue candle. Save me. The 
range on Esau is not bad. <laughs> but only one of them gets flight. That's the problem. Yo, lady, today... I got a sandwich coming. There we go. Only one of them gets flight. That's the issue. And the price is steep. It really doesn't matter which one gets it. It's still steep. <clears throat> Plus, I don't really know where replenishing the, the health is going to come from. I gotta save it for something like truly exceptional. I just don't know what that is yet. Chub. Which I think is worth the pickup. And Gertie is waiting for us. Obviously, if this was a single character, it would be a it would be a pretty easy pickup, I think, to grab flight there. But it actually becomes real problematic. When only one character gets, when only one character gets flight, you start, I mean, like, you can see it right now, it's our, we're already struggling with characters hanging up on rocks and catching on textures and stuff like that. It only gets worse. It only gets worse when one of them doesn't have flight. Two of spades. Two short. of spades. But I want to gulp trinkets. I'd only get one, only one of them would get to gulp trinkets. I guess I can put it on Esau, and Esau can just start gulping cool trinkets. I mean, it's better than, it's better than Smelter. I'll stop spending money now. Dodge a wrench, she can dodge a ball. Tears up. Well, we know that pill exists now. Oh no, my smelter. Well, shit. <laughs> We're now aware of the existence of both of those, sadly. I couldn't make my fingers remember which was what. Oh well, maybe it'll save me from making a mistake. I always gotta find. I always gotta find some sort of like. Uh, I always gotta find some sort of positive way to spin mistakes like that. Maybe it saved me for myself. It's a pretty sweet blue candle shot. Does it come in functional? Go to the pretzel player and refresh. I will do that momentarily. Momentita, Senorita Huxley. Launching pretzel. Ooh, so sexy. Chat. 
Look at how sexy new pretzel is. What were we on? We were on funk. Look at how sexy. Got Alan Walker. Cell Dweller, Zomboy. Miracle of Sound, Approaching Nirvana, Psycho Stick, Logistics, Trending Labels. Very pretty. Very pretty. I'd like to think... I'd like to think that they managed to get all that done because they got rid of me. Once they offloaded me, they were free of all the distractions necessary. And finally got some real work done. All they had to do was get rid of the dead weight. It looks great. It looks gorgeous. That is a smooth looking player. Looking cool, Joker. Dude, when Nate and I rolled out that first version of the player, I will say I'm not a fan of the volume bar going from side to side. I like rolling it up with the mouse wheel, but everything else looks good. Ryan McLaffy Tappy Pocket Sand Caps. It's true, Rini did beat you to it. We we just spent a couple of a couple of seconds over on uh, monitor two, taking a looksy do at it. I was just saying though that the the first iteration that Nate and I rolled out looked like a GeoCities website. I don't know how to get through there without getting hit. The first iteration looked like a GeoCities website. It was a pretty static web page, web based browser that had the most basic of functionality. And now it is a, a player that looks like it would legitimately give Spotify a run for its money. That reminds me, I got a message from my website claiming DMCA copyright infringement when all the content on my site is self-produced or from public domain. Taffy, there are like three people here who knows what GeoCities was. I'm trying. I'm trying to be relatable. Across two generations, maybe even three, depending on if Noah's dad is here. He's not though, he only shows up for Animal Crossing. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try to like evenly share the love here. I'm gonna hold on to my bombs. I really don't know where the secret room is. Well, it's like Angel Fire for old people. I don't even know what Angel Fire is. I think it passed me by. Get busy, Brian. What's going on, man? Greetings and salutations. I genuinely don't know where the secret room is. Could be there. Could be there. Probably there. Fuck me. Um. Here. I got one. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. <clears throat> Binge eater. Binge Eater is going to be really good here, because frankly, we need the health. I don't know where the second secret room is. It doesn't matter because I'm out of bombs, but I'll be damned if I know where it is. What the hell is Binge Eater? Yo, that's not the D6, is it? Is that the Eternal D6? Get busy, Brian. Prime Gaming, two months. Not much, just uh, painting some minis today. Damn. Bent my thumbnail and like ripped it a little last night, and it's getting stuck, catching on stuff, and it's driving me insane. Paint some minis today and waiting for a TV delivery. Hell yeah! <clears throat> yeah, the um, binge eater now means that every every item 
will switch back and forth between uh, the item it's intended to be and some sort of health upgrade. And if we take the health upgrade, we not only get the health that comes with it, but also a, a stat upgrade. It is a fresh, um, it is a fresh repentance file. It is not a start from scratch file. I'm not a, I'm not a sadist. But I needed, I needed to not, I needed to do something different after we got done so dirty by Isaac yesterday. <clears throat> Oh shit. Uh see what's going on. I think I'll probably take the health here. At some point, we'll take shittier PhD. Oh, but I don't think that day is today. There's a tears upgrade pill version here that I'd like to keep. Who picked up Binge Eater? So it's gotta be, it's gotta be Esau who takes it. And then he gets a permanent and a temporary stat increase. Pheromones. Tears down. Question marks. What if? What if I just send one? Thanks, game. I hate it. I'm genuinely on the verge of a of a, oh, it is actually the D6. Holy shit! Hmm. I don't think it's marked. trying to decide who gets the health he doesn't get the stat increase but he does need the health <clears throat> yeah it's funny I've been saying time and time again how I don't go in on hand egg anymore. I don't go in on American football. I don't really go in on sports. I like I like them still. I like going to like baseball games, but I don't like having a rooting interest. I feel like I have too many like real problems in my life that need solving that don't involve potentially letting a group of millionaires playing a children's game determine whether or not I'm gonna have a good or a bad week. I mean, it can't be worse, right? Mark. <clears throat> that said, the Cowboys nearly beat the Patriots, which was pretty cool. Not the Patriots. I was just thinking about Tom Brady. In my head, Tom Brady is still the Patriots. The Cowboys nearly beat Tom Brady and the reigning champion Bucks in a very close game, which I'm not used to seeing them in close <laughs> games anymore. And both my fantasy teams won. Like handily the last couple of years I've just let my team auto draft and I've let a whole bunch of people who were on like bye weeks and IR start because I couldn't be bothered to switch my lineups it's been very strange oh I just I just peeled a french fry off of the Reuben mmm 
Mm. Oh my god! I just could not. Oh, I could not control it. I went through there way too fast. The French fry got green screened a bit. That's because I have a green screen. Mystery solved. What was it? Yesterday I had, um... Yesterday I had, uh... Carne asada fries. Yesterday I had carne asada fries and there was guacamole and lettuce on it. And every time... I went to take a bite of the carne asada fries with guac and lettuce. Squint Fox said it was like watching me eat art. It was like watching me eat... Because we, we were playing Horizon Zero Dawn. We were playing Horizon Zero Dawn, and and so it's got all these like beautiful, lush landscapes. So he said that every time I took a bite, it was like watching me take a bite of a... of a surrealist painting. Hear me out. Well, I mean, like... I need to not... I need, I need Jacob not to get hit. Or I need a, uh, a flippity doo -dah soul heart. What I'd like more than anything is to get them double flight. Oh no, stop, 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 stop. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Motherfucker. You can't even hurt my feelings now, you asshole. God damn it. So hard to track down soul hearts, man. Well, I mean, I might as well... Hold on. It's not like I'm going to lose that on an angel room now. It's going to be tedious. Oh, you fucking fuck. There we go. Hmm. I hate this room, like, a lot. <laughs> Five spiders. To shreds, you say. Tedious, but like, what else do I have to do right now? Red bearskin, welcome. Could have had uh, both had BFF. Yeah, I mean that's true of every item. When you got Diplo, I was swinging for the fences though. Double BFF, I don't think, wins you a run. Double Holy Mantle does. 
double Holy Grail does, double uh, Dove maybe does. Question marks, I think, made it so that that room wasn't there this time, but it also is moving around the red hearts that I need to finish what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm gonna run out of french fries soon. I'm gonna have to work over the sandwich. I do appreciate the game shuffling the um, blue, sw uh, blue thwomps the hell out of my way. It's nice. real chance are is this is this a fucking joke to you there we go yeah I don't know. I'd like to play that out the rest of the way. I just don't know where the rest of the hearts come from. I don't know where the regular secret room is. I think it's... I think it's here. I thought wrong. Got some keys for what it's worth. Now we grab whatever the hell is up here and we leave. Daggum, man. I would have really liked to have... Uh, Diploed an angel deal or something. I didn't see what the item was. Anybody catch the number on that truck? do it this time. A little like uh, Samson's Chains. I don't know what to do. Spectral Tears would be really, really good here, man. Oh god, I'm glad that that blue, blue fire missed. Any more blue fire just turns those things into assholes. Wheel of Fortune. Oh no. That's Leo. That's no bueno. Looks like that's gonna become a reroll target. Mask of Infamy. Yeah, for this little mamma jahambo right here that keeps getting hit. I mean, look at how big this fry is. It's chroma, but. Very good. Ooh, I'm damn shocked I didn't get hit. That was not because I did it well, I just got incredibly lucky. Madre de Dios. Oh, no worries, Kitty Stinky. You don't have to apologize to me, I should've been paying attention. I should have been paying attention. Um, I'd say that's a reroll target, but I don't think it is. I think we just take the health and let it be a damage upgrade. Or, sorry, a stat upgrade. <clears throat> that's too complicated. 
I don't I don't have that in me. Not the secret room, you say. That would have been cool. Now I don't have a bomb. That would all that would have also been cool. I fucking don't know what to do, man. These idiots are so fat. The chroma does make it look gross. You're, you're not wrong. If there was a way to, like, pop the chroma on and off with a button push, I'd maybe do it, but... I currently don't have it set up, so... We get gross-looking french fries. I gotta run! I had to play chicken with one. Fortunately, I won. I'm just waiting to see if it'll pop up right here. Doesn't look like it. Holy shit. Uh, um... I think I killed him. It's like Plinko trying to get them all in the same place. His tears down. I genuinely just think I go. I don't really think there's much else to it. Isaac. Hope for the best. Just drop the foot! Stop making it complicated. I don't think Brimstone Bomb saves the day here. Nor do I think Little Brim does. Succubus might do a trick though. The coupon has. Was that really not a thing that existed before? I'm so confused about what's new and what's old. box down there um this guy seems to be touching oh no i didn't oh i couldn't see what it was i wanted the virus i guess health is good <laughs> genuinely i'm at a point where esau could probably use a little help Probably didn't play all this after the booster packs came out. I mean, I had I had to get everything in Afterbirth to get three million and three percent. So to a certain extent, I had there there was a certain amount of stuff I had to do to get it. I just can't remember if that included booster packs or not. Just want it out of my way. I also want to be able to see where I'm going. Gotta love you, succubus. Oh my god! I feel like I haven't seen... I feel like I haven't seen that many... I feel like I haven't seen that many soul hearts regardless of how many 
characters I'm trying to divvy them up for. Oh shit. That was Mask of Infamy taking two on the chin for us. Yeah, but I think... Oh my god, there's a fruit fly that's trying to get on my food. I think they put the items in uh, before they put in the achievements or something like that. Where it would say you... Ha uh, where it would say it, but you already had it. Maybe. Ooh, hold on. Damn. Didn't want to punch my monitor, but I want this fruit fly dead. I want him dead! I want his whole family dead! Uh-oh. I genuinely don't know... How far I'm gonna be able to get on this run. I forgot that, like, when you were doing the full clear, it was easy to die. But it's easy to die. Skolex, huh? a huge favor and keep your vulnerable vulnerable point hidden at all times who knows man um You know, it's a stat increase. Oh my god. Um, well, we know when they're health. Hold on. That's bad. That's good. But you'll get your choice of toppings. The toppings are also cursed. The toppings contain potassium benzoate. Can I go now? I can't move! Oh no. Fucking fucker. We might just die. I'm trying to keep us alive. Love! Love will keep us together. Have been a lot of tears upgrades. Are you a wizard? Neat. Yeah, it is hard to dodge anything. You're not wrong. So chunky. Such a chunky little monkey. Uh, again, I, you know, not to be a broken record about it, but I definitely do also feel... Oh, God, they got inside the perimeter. Perimeter breach! Yeah, not to be a broken record about it, but I also feel like I've not seen a lot of soul hearts. I've not seen a lot of, uh... Tended rocks. I just don't think that I have the, uh... I don't think I have the luxury... ...of not picking up items. Interesting. I probably should have put it on the other guy, because he's got BFF, but I, I just feel like with this dude leading the charge... He's running the risk of getting caught out a bunch of times. So having some damage up front's not too bad.
I have a lot of keys too. This is just gonna happen. Brace yourself. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. Salty french fry with the vinegar brine of the pickle. Stars card, temperance. I don't know yet. Can I do them both at once? Like, like on the um, IV machines, the blood banks? Oh, what am I doing? Jesus Christ, my guy. Remember what floor you're on. Yeah, I absolutely can do them both at once. The problem is that not both of them have red heart health, unfortunately. I need to change the station. Um, I need to not feel quite so much like a Persona 5 pause screen. It's too distracting. Yeah, it, feel like, it feels like Saturday Night Live is coming back from a break. Oh, that's something. Sorry, I'm just kind of mathing it out here. Mm. Hmm. I'm getting there. Hold on. You want health because Edmund wants you to have health. Edmund just doesn't want me to have exciting items. But I'll show him. God damn it. Probably. I'll probably show him. I'll likely have this blow back in my face. But I'd like to believe that I'd show him. Can't afford to go into that curse room. Man, I'm conflicted about a couple of different things here. If I'm playing out the blood bank, I might be able to get health upgrades. I need to start doing that. I need to start playing out the blood banks. Ooh wee, is this gonna be complicated? It's gonna involve a lot of walking. Matter of fact, I might I might eat my sandwich while we're doing this. Because we're not going anywhere anytime soon. It's gonna be a shorter Horizon Zero Dawn day. But I am I am compelled to figure this out. And I think it starts with Sticky Nickel's irony is not lost on me, game.
If I can get a whole bunch of item pedestals in here. We can make some real serious change happen. One second. Mm. Pay out, you stingy bastard. Mm. Uh. Do we know what you are? <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes things break your way and you feel good. What is this? A hematemesis? Uh, hematemesis for ants? So I think Empty Vessel goes on our lead dog. He's getting pretty beat up. The Magician doesn't matter. Temperance, yeah, arguably. Let's put it like up here. Temperance. Empty Vessel. Then the rest of it gets re-rolled. Which is going to take some time. Gonna take some doing. This guy swallowed bloody penny, so you gotta make sure that he picks up coins. Yo, Dan, is it here yet? I know it's I know it's I know it's out for delivery. All right, let me know. It got behind me. It snuck behind me and got the little fella in the back. See, I want to make this work. Need another charge. I'll probably go see what the deal with the devil is if you even get one. No, I can't. I can't. I can't worry about getting a deal with the devil. We got five pedestal items in there, or four. We got a bunch. We got a bunch of pedestal items. I should definitely play these out. Maybe I can get one more. Oh no. You can't be catching those, bruv. There we go. That's exactly why. I have to leave it be, I think. Uh, I think I reroll all of these.
I feel like I handled that okay. Look at me go. Come on now. This is going all right, I think. I sound like I'm convincing me more than I'm convincing you. I am kind of convincing me more than I'm convincing you. But I feel like this is going all right. Now we have Hounds 2, which will let us know where the secret rooms are. And will let us know where t uh, uh, crawl spaces are. They're just looking for the second secret room, so. Which is right... Oh, shit. I actually don't know. I would have guessed the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Soul hearts to make a big deal. I'm starting to lose interest. Yeah, Ryan, we did. We logged out of Pretzel and logged back in. We took a couple minutes. Uh, Rini and Nate beat you. <laughs> Rini and Nate beat you here. That looks gorgeous. I was in a meeting, damn it. My only... My only constructive criticism is that I'm not crazy about the slider on the volume being left to right. It's easier for me to roll it up and down with my mouse wheel. If we could set, like, I don't, I haven't, I, I'll test it real quick. If it slides up and down with the mouse wheel still. If we could get it to slide left and right with the mouse wheel. It's hard for me, it's hard for me, like, my mouse is a little skittish on my streaming PC. So it's hard for me to slide it from left to right to where you want it to be, but I have no idea until it gets there. Like earlier we did it and it was a little too high, then it was a little too low. And so I was kind of playing like a weird like quick time game with it. Otherwise, other than that, it, like I, I was saying earlier, it gives Spotify... Fuck this place, man. I was saying earlier, it gives Spotify a run for its money. That thing's beautiful. It's a beautiful player. Ow. Oh, you chunky shits. We unlocked double baby. Should just be a stat increase. Yeah, just a straight up stat increase for picking up health. Well, you can't see because of the chroma. I think the Tech 2 pickup was a smart move. I didn't even realize I was being shot at from behind. I completely forgot there was a turret in this room. A turdy turret. Ugh.
this is a room that was a pain in the ass before there was a repentance. This is an OG pain in the ass room. Oh, balls. That was actually surprisingly painless. Oh, succubus, what a delightful pickup you were. Uh, what? I've seen some really cool vegetarian Reuben builds before. I've never had one before, but I know they exist and they look really good. I should have just eaten that fruit fly. If that fruit fly wants to play stupid games and get near my mouth, I'm gonna eat it and just kill it and be happy. Fuck them. for that to stop immediately. Please. Fly, it's not the vegetarian option. I've definitely had more than one occasion where I've had like a fruit fly in this office and I've, I've vowed to myself that I would eat it if it got close enough to me just to eliminate it. Nice. Should be the mother transformation. What a weird build. <clears throat> Dana, what's going on? The one bacon here says, are you happy with the update? It depends on when you ask me. There's a lot of stuff that I think is cool and there's a lot of stuff that drives me mad. There's a lot of stuff I think is really cool and there's a lot of stuff that drives me absolutely bonkers. As somebody who used to thoroughly enjoy breaking the game, I just like that an overwhelming majority of the, the numbers of ways you can break the game have been removed. That's his prerogative, I guess. Just because it wasn't intended doesn't mean it wasn't fun. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of cool new stuff. I love that Angel Room deals are worthwhile again. I love a lot of the quality of life changes that have been made. I should 
touch it and just get rid of it. Yeah, I love a lot of the quality of life changes that have been made. Like the item trackers. I like Bethany. I like Tainted, uh, Tainted Keeper. I like, uh... <clears throat> I don't know, there's a lot that I like, and there's a lot that I really adamantly don't. go on down to the end. Yeah, I feel I feel like there's a there's a I guess if, if there's one criticism I could levy is that there's there are a lot of changes that were made because it wasn't how it was intended. But I don't think that just because it wasn't how Edmund intended it didn't mean that it wasn't fun. And I think he fixed a lot of things that I didn't think needed fixing. But there's a lot of really cool new stuff in there too. That I don't want to just throw under the bus. Fucking pretzel, why is every song determined to make me like upset with how loud it is? I didn't mean repentance. I meant the last patch where they re added reroll machines and shops and like, which should re enable some game breaks again. I haven't noticed it yet. I'm notoriously somebody who doesn't read patches. Like the big sissy baby that I am. Yeah, Birthright. Birthright and how quickly he pivoted to his next card game and, you know, raising $6 million for a card game. And the fact that this game released in Birthright wasn't even implemented on every character. That shit drives me insane. Yeah, I didn't even think about Birthright. I think, like, al almost like a traumatic experience. I blocked that shit out of my mind. I completely forgotten how irritated Birthmark makes me. Or Birthright makes me. Ow. People said I wouldn't be able to catch that bullet, but I proved them wrong. My daddy once caught a bullet with his teeth.